Part of your research has included the economic impact of dementia in the workplace. Can you tell us what you've learned? Well, actually, uh, Alzheimer's disease is considered one of the most expensive diseases in the United States. There's a belief that this year, in the year 2012, it will cost us over $200 billion to care for patients with Alzheimer's disease. But there's uh, many different places that that expense comes from. Um, it can come from uh, family members who have to lose work time mm -hmm. to take care of a person who uh, has dementia, who has uh, memory loss and dementia. Um, it can come from the cost of taking care of someone in their home, and it includes what we call indirect costs. Those are the costs that we don't actually put a dollar amount on, but the number of hours that people actually spend accompanying someone or just taking care of them. Often it's family members and friends. Mm -hmm. And then there's a new expense that we're aware of, and that is that if we're able to detect the disease very early, a person may have just mild memory problems, but it really impedes their ability to do their work because we're seeing people working older. And also it can impair their ability to do volunteer work, which often has important value, maybe babysitting for grandchildren or that type of thing.